Good evening, lovely people. We are back home. We've been back home for a 24 day. 24 hours. <laughs> we are exhausted. Um, I've been back at work today, working from home. Don has been a mad woman packing stuff away. We've done very, very well. Thank you. But we realised that when packing away, there's a lot of goodies and things that we need to put somewhere. So we figured before we do that, we'd show you what we brought. It just kind of makes sense to do a bit of a a bit of a haul vlog while um, the kids well, are in sleep. The kids are asleep. It's fresh and brain. Everything's fresh, and I can get stuff put away then. Exactly. See, not just hat racks. Not just hat racks. So, um, is it going to be all to this? We're not doing it in terms of like shops, are we? We're just going to say. No, this so, is I'll we say got. where we got it from. Yeah, but there's no. We've got it all around us here. Yeah. You can't see, but it's all around us. So we're just going to start, and we're going to we're going to go. So, here we go. Ta -da. Ta -da. So we've been joined. We've been joined by this guy. <laughs> He's um pretty big. He um wanted to come home with us, Matilda, didn't you? So he's here. He's we, very soft. He's very, very soft. He's very, very big. We got him from World of Disney. It was World of Disney, wasn't it? Yeah. I left you for five minutes, I turned around and he was with you, so yeah. I knew that we could, so I originally told Matilda she couldn't have him because of the how big he was and I didn't think we'd get him back on the plane. And then I read up on Orlando time and loads of people had brought him home. So I decided that he could come home with us. How much was he? I can't remember. Um, he was... $70. $70 for a giant stitch. I didn't think that was too bad. We got 20% discount off that though. We Discount, so that's no. not really too bad actually. No. He's not very, for a, big, very fluffy. Not for a massive Disney teddy bear. No, he's alright, isn't he? Bless him. Can't get him in the UK. No. There you go. There a you big go. stitch. So he's home. He's home. I'm going to take him back to Matilda because she wants him in bed. So, so while we're on the stitch train, next thing. Da -da -da. The stitch lounge fly. Very nice, their stitch. As mum just pointed out, it goes up and down in the flowers. You have the lounge fly logo there. Inside there is some flower print. I think you can see that just there. Um, yeah, it's nice. We got it from Creations, Creations at Epcot. Shop at Epcot. Um, yeah, Matilda wanted it again. Another one. Another thing that Matilda wanted was a stitch lounge fly. We saw this one and said, "Hey, Matilda, get this one." That was eighty dollars. Eighty dollars. And Matilda's had a lot so far. <laughs> she does love her stitch, so yeah. <clears throat> you can sit there for a second. We did get twenty percent discount. We did get twenty percent discount. So, while we are on the subject of stitch again, Matilda got a nice stitch lounge fly. There he is, playing his little ukulele, and that's the back. It was very nice. Matilda, again, was after this the entire holiday. So on the final day, while we were in World of Disney, we caved. Wow. And she got that. That was $70. $70. Again, 20% discount. Yeah. So, what are you going to do? So, from one spirit jersey to the next, Donna wanted... Ever so, even when this one was announced and we saw it on her first vlogs or other people's vlogs, she wanted this one. The back So it's the Disney 100 um, spirit jersey with, lower it down a little bit. Oh, sorry. There we go. With Disney Vacation Club member on the back. And if you lift it up a little bit, you can see all the characters in their 100 years gear. It's a very, very nice lounge fly. It's not a lounge fly, it's a spirit jersey. Spirit jersey. I know, I know what I mean. <laughs> spirit jersey. I am an expert. But I was desperate for it, so we bought it. So you brought that one. We got that one from uh, Kidani Village. Kidani Village. In the end of their shop. Um, it was $90. It was $90. No discount. No discount. We couldn't swindle that one. <laughs> we couldn't swindle that one. <laughs> we couldn't swindle the discount there. We tried. Um, next is my very first lounge fly. I've never owned one before. And I couldn't really find one that I liked, to be honest. I couldn't really find any that really just took my, took my eye. But I do love Monsters, Inc. And Monsters University. So I saw this one. And it's got loads of different, like, badges on the front for our Monsters University. Like the cup there. And the scare games and stuff. And on the back it's got Monsters University in big letters. And some more badges. And little decals there. I just thought it was quite cool. I quite liked it. So that came from the World of Disney. That was discount. 
Yeah, that Doesn't was it? originally, I think it was 80 again, 70 or 80. Yeah, I think it was 80 this one, didn't yeah. we? So I was moaning with Art to get it because I thought it was quite expensive. But um, it's, it's not incredibly thick, this one, it's quite a thin jumper. So when I'm working from home and stuff, it's quite a nice one just to put on without being too hot. So, my first ever spirit jersey. I'm very excited by this. The next spirit jersey is another World of Disney purchase. So again, 20% discount. And it's, you know, go on. I was going to say, we hadn't seen this one, have we, until we got there. I think it's almost brand new. Yeah. We've never seen it on a vlog before. But um, you fell in love straight away, didn't you? Yeah. So it's another Disney 100, but this all, this one almost celebrates the music of That's Disney. Beautiful. So there's a lot of musical notes everywhere, as you can see, running through the Walt Disney World logo. It's got loads of characters on the back. Most of them are known for singing. It's Disney, to be fair, they're all known for singing um, and music. So yeah, it's uh It's even got the really country bear pretty. jamboree bears on it. It does have Big Al on there. Uh, yeah. Um, there was one character where I wasn't too sure who it was, but I can't find it now. Either way. I, um, yeah. Either way, it's beautiful. It's very, very beautiful. We loved it. It's even got a tin toy. Yeah. Like, that's really, really cool. A little tiny tin toy. It's even got Tiki Room Bird. Tiki Room Bird. Tink. Yeah. Loads of lovely ones on there. It's lovely. Really, really nice. So, that was a nice purchase. And that was from, yeah, was, as I said, that was from World of Disney. That was World of Disney, and it was, I think it was 70. Okay. Yeah, I think they're all around 60 to 80, yeah. depending on how long they've been in the store. Because what they've done is, if you notice, they've taken the pricing off of stuff. They have. So there is a bit of um, dodge dealing going on, I think, at Disney. I agree. I agree. Next Spirit Jersey came from Character Warehouse. This is part of the Toy Story Summer Collection. So it's got Reach, Woody there with Reach for the fries on there. He's got some ketchup and some mustard. And it's got some little uh, graphics of barbecue and summer and Toy Story. On the back it's got chilling and grilling with Bunny and Ducky looking all ready for the summer with some more fruits and veg and summer things on there. So yeah, don't know what this one. We thought it was really cool. It was cheap too, wasn't it? Yeah, and it was an extra 30% off. It was off. an extra 30% off the price. I think I paid price. $30 for it. Yeah, we didn't pay a lot at all. I think I put the price in one of the vlogs because yeah. we did a haul of this particular, of this particular trip. trip. And for a spirit jersey, it was really, really cheap. So we couldn't really say no, could we? No. I think we made the right choice. We're on the subject of jumpers and spirit jerseys. As soon as we got to Saratoga, I said, Donna, Donna, oh my God, I really, really want that hoodie. And it's this beautiful hoodie with Mickey Mouse covering his eyes for Halloween. The thing I really liked about this hoodie was that it had Disney Vacation Club member on on the sleeve. In orange it was beautiful. In orange it was really really nice. I thought yeah that's really cool because I couldn't find a spirit jersey that I liked. So I thought I'm going to get this one. So I tried it on in a large and it was okay. A tiny bit tight so I thought actually if I get an extra large it would be quite baggy. We didn't check the extra large did we? No. So what I picked up was the hoodie that I wanted but it has a generic sleeve with no Disney Vacation Club member it's not really a vacation on the side. Club it's not really a Vacation um. Club member hoodie at all. It's just a hoodie with Mickey on it. So I feel like I've been shortchanged. You have. Because it probably cost... It was $60. Yeah. But I bet the one with... I bet it was priced high up too for a DVC yeah. one. I feel like I've been shortchanged. Diddled. So I'm really annoyed. I'll figure out how much it was. We paid on Magic Band, yeah, so I've got I just, it. The one thing I really wanted with DVC member on the side, I got home and realised it doesn't. We were on the plane, weren't we? And yeah. it's on. It doesn't say DVC member on the sleeve. So, I've got, yeah, I'm really annoyed with it. Lovely hoodie, just annoying that it doesn't say that You've on the side. You've also stained it. There was also a stain that has appeared on the front, there on the pocket. You can see it right in the middle. We have no idea how or when that happened, but it's appeared. And I literally put it on, didn't I? And you yeah. said there's a stain on it. So maybe we picked up a stained one from the start and we didn't know. Either way, the first thing I saw that I wanted, and it's... Wrecked. Not it's not what I wanted, so. Oh wow. Say lovey. That's all we can just have to go back and get another one. So, so next was a trip to Box Lunch where we picked up this cardigan for Matilda. Box Lunch had so much stuff that she wanted and that we all wanted, but um, it's just a nice kind of patterned. It's a thick, heavy, heavy cardigan. cardigan it's woolen. On the back, it's got Caroline coming through the portal to the, the other world, so. Matilda absolutely loved it, and she's already worn it like three times. She loves this thing. And to be fair, it is really, really nice. It's even beautiful. Like the um, the dragonfly on the front there. 
it's all embroidered on there like it's not stuck it's not oh, cheap yeah, it's, it's well really made well made piece of kit so we paid 110 dollars nice. for that no we did not we did shut up was it really that much 110 i thought it was like 60 or something maybe i'm wrong maybe i'll check but we'll check that okay we may have got it wrong we think it was 64 dollars. 64 dollars yeah i looked on ebay it's 110 dollars ah, that's what it was that's what it was i looked it up didn't i to see how much it would cost if you bought it yeah there you go so we got ourselves a bargain we did get ourselves a bargain it's so not it too bad really but that is really well made yeah it's beautiful it. yeah box lunch do good clothes um, she also got a notebook from box lunch so this is said sketchbook not a notebook it's a sketchbook <laughs> if you're a fan of studio ghibli this is a my neighbor my neighbor totoro sketchbook um it's got loads of blank pages in there but also there's little like uh little drawings and pieces of artwork from the film in there like the little uh dust mites and or soot gremlins whatever they're called and the cat burst etc etc but yeah she really wanted this so it's quite cute so we we got that it's very nice she also got one for her friend too was it like 15 dollars it was 19 dollars 95. Okay. 19 dollars 95. so very nice expensive sketchbook expensive sketchbook but a nice sketchbook nonetheless yeah i also got my pennywise t-shirt that i haven't got with me i packed it away upstairs so i'm not bringing it back down um but i wore it to halloween horror night so i'll put in a clip as i'm talking just so you can see the t-shirt itself it's a very cool one i wasn't going to get it but they did buy one get one uh one and box lunches buy one piece of apparel get another one for, i think for 30 percent off she so got I it 30 percent off didn't you? yeah so it was nice i liked it and i wanted something for halloween horror night so i thought hey why not let's get that so yeah that was that was our box lunch it's quite cheap this time considering i think last time i think we spent a lot more in yeah, there yeah yeah so yeah, it's a good shot. Get there. So we went to H&M and Matilda found this Wednesday t-shirt, which is quite cool. And then on the back, it's got Wednesday on it. Was that H&M, was that a Vineland or International? Do you remember? Vineland. No. Where did it we go? International. It was we International. Went to we went to, yeah. We? Yeah. Went to international, yeah. And it's 9.99. And she also got this really nice Stranger Things top long sleeve top from H&M again from the International Drive and that was $18. Well I was at Horror Nights you might see all the merch that I got so this was the t-shirt I decided to get it says on the front Halloween Horror Nights 2023 and on the back it's got again Horror Nights 2023 with all of the um, different houses listed on there as it's my first time I wanted to make sure I got something that commemorated my first trip and I really like this one, plus it kind of glows under a black light as well, so I thought it was quite funky. So I got myself that, that was, um, I think I've said in the vlog, I think it was about, it was $33 I think for that. Um, and also when I was at the counter, they were selling magnets, they do these limited release magnets. Um, they do one every single week that Horror Nights is on. So this was the first magnet of the week, so I went to the first session. So it's just a crow in the pumpkin and it says uh, a scary Halloween up there which is quite cool. Um, it says Halloween Horror Nights on the bottom. So I mean, after, I think now you won't be able to get this in the stores at all. This will, this will be gone by now. I think it was going on until, I think Wednesday? Or maybe today, it's still tomorrow it stops. Either way, after tomorrow you can't get this one. That's, that's the time of filming anyway. That's per time of filming. This was $14. So that was my little Horror Nights haul. These next two items came from the Universal Orlando Resort shop at Terminal C. We can't stop these people from shopping. This is what we do. We wanted to get Blake, was it another t-shirt, wasn't it? With yeah. like cat and the hat and things on it, but they didn't have his size. It was like a whole Seuss Landings t-shirt. Yeah, beautiful. it was really nice. But then we found this one, this jumper. Um, this might be slightly too big for him at the moment, but we saw it in there and just thought we had to get it just because it's got so his favorites cute. on there. Look, it's got um, the Grinch, Thing 1 and Thing 2, cat and the hat. And he went through a phase, didn't he, there, calling Thing 1 and Thing 2, Season 1 and Season 2. Yeah, Season 1 Season 2, and we were like, oh, why? But he loved it. So yeah, we got him this little jumper. It was very, very sweet. Um, so we thought you had to have it. And that cost $42 for a jumper. Kids jumper. Ta-da! So I saw this in the parks and I kept um and um whether to buy it or not. Because I love it. It's got all of the original rides, the Universal rides. And I absolutely love the design. 
and I thought, oh no, I won't get it, I won't get it. Anyway, I didn't get it, got to the airport and was like, oh, they've got the t-shirt, but they didn't have my size. So I thought if I size up to a 2X, I can wear it to bed. So it's like a really lovely big night really dress. Big, yeah. It's gorgeous. It is really nice, isn't it? We love the kind of old school design on these. Oh, I love it. Yeah, it's wicked. Just reminds me of my first time to Universal Studios in the 90s. It's blinking brilliant. Blinking brilliant. Blinking smashing, as my grandma said. Yeah, blinking smashing. So, yeah. And I that think one? that was $35. Okay. But, saying that, yes, we may have spent a bit in the store, but because we spent a bit, we got a free towel. Ta da! Universal Studios towel, we've been looking for a towel pretty much all holiday and we got one and on, at the, in the airport on the way home for spending so much money in their store. Which I thought was brilliant. We also got some glasses. We did get some glasses. Let me grab them quick. Be right back. <laughs> These are the glasses that we purchased. It's going to be quite hard to see because it's not going to focus no, it's not very, gonna well. Focus very well. So this is our old school Back to the Future glass. We also have a... Jaws glass. This is the ET one, which is very, very cute. I love the ET one. The ET one's very, very good. And the confrontation glass. Oh, I love this one. Yeah, they're really cool. We just thought, you know what, we like to commemorate the old rides, we like the old universal aesthetic so we decided to get the glasses from that shop on the way home too we were kind of worried weren't we about taking them through hand luggage which is why we didn't buy them from universal in the first place but because we were already through customs we thought oh we've got some space in our hand luggage we can wrap them up and keep them safe let's, let's do it it's got the dates on the back as well i've just noticed yeah i noticed that as ride. well because we were trying to work out when et was actually opened yeah. at universal and they actually do have yeah, so Jaws, Confrontation and E.T. opened in 1990, whereas Back to the Future opened in 91. Wicked. What could you want? Love those glasses. Yeah. We brought a lot of receptacles home, let's put it that way. We did. But while we're on the subject of receptacles and Universal, we got the old school Universal mug, which kind of matches your t-shirt. Yeah. Because again, we really like that and we, yeah, we couldn't say no to it really. Just love that old school look, we love it. Yeah, and that was $15 from yeah. the, what do they call it? The shop at on City Ball. Oh, I can't remember, it's like the vintage, like, yeah. it had loads and loads of like memorabilia and... It was a really, really cool store, so we got that. We couldn't say no. The glasses were $10 each. Oh, did we not say that? No, oh. they were $10 each, but I thought that was a bargain. Yeah, it was alright, wasn't it? Last at Universal, we'll show you That now. weren't so much of a bargain, this. This wasn't so much of a bargain, but Blake loved the cat and the hat. He loved so the ride much, so he? much. Oh, he was on it. He wanted to go on it all the time. Like, on one time, we did literally go off and go on it again. Like, we yeah, just we went around. three times. So, but either way, they sent these little mugs, okay. and this one said Blake on it. So we just couldn't it's got really season one say and season no. Two on it. Season one, season two, for Blake. And this is a plastic cup. I've got the receipt. Was it like fifteen dollars? Fifteen dollars for a little plastic cup. But Blake loved it, and we wanted to kind of. Keep memento, didn't we, of the ride yeah. now, which he loved it because he was so happy. He loved Universal Studios. He did love Universal. He was all over that, wasn't he? Yeah, and the Blaster ride. Oh, yeah, the, minion, the new Minion Villain Con ride. He loved that. So, yeah, speaking of Minions and Villain Con, you can buy the cool guns you actually use on the ride. And for a while, he really, really wanted to buy it. And then he found something that he wanted to buy even more. This is, this is the fart gun from the movies. Sorry. It's alright. And it makes real fart. It makes real fart noises. <laughs> he did that all around the park. He did it all around the park. Even when we were going to Saratoga Springs, it was in my bag and it kept going off. The annoying, scary thing is actually, over here it says, this, this white sticker says remove for scent. So I think there's actually fart smell oh, in there, there too. Yeah, look, remove for scent. Yeah, we're not doing We're not that. taking that off. He doesn't know about that bit yet. But yeah, fart gun. It's Blake. He could have got the cool blaster. Oh no. You want the disgusting fart gun. Yeah. How much was the fart gun? It was cheap. It was like $21. 
the gun that the original gun he wanted was like forty dollars, and that was like twenty one, oh, so twenty two dollars. Yeah. Right, at the time, uh, you'll see it on the the vlog before if you watched the, the the price we showed on the vlog on the yeah. Universal. Okay. Cool. We went to Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party. As you saw, we had a great time, and we saw everybody walking around with this popcorn bucket. And we were like, oh, do we get it? Do we get it? And then we saw it and we couldn't really, really see it. There's no way we were leaving the park without it. Look at it. So if you're a Nightmare Before Christmas fan, it's amazing. If you're not, then where have you been? Yeah, it's pretty So cool. this is a town mayor and these three kids are called Lock, Shock and Barrel. And um, yeah, the, it lights up. When you turn the wheel, the mayor's head turns in the front of the seat. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> And you kind of lift up the guy in the popcorn and goes in the top. Pretty cool, eh? It is very cool. I don't care what you say in the comments, it's awesome. And that was like, what, $18? Yeah, it was $18, was it? yeah. Oh, well, that was decent for that. There's some really terrible popcorn buckets out there. This isn't one of them. This is the first purchase that Matilda made on the holiday. From Endless Summer, Surfside, there's a little Starbucks. It does have the Starbucks mermaid on the front there. And Matilda just wanted this really bad because it's really pretty. She liked the aesthetic. How much was it? Oh. $19.95. $25, oh sorry, $20 for a sippy cup, basically. It's a decent though one because I wanted one and I got her it instead. Because as a parent, that's what you do. You end up buying your kids everything. But yours is better because it's bigger than the one you I wanted. Know. You should just got that one. Either way, if you want Either way, she, she wanted it and made her happy. She's happy. So yeah, so nineteen ninety-five for tax. Yes. No discount. <laughs> no discount on Starbucks. <laughs> Starbies as she no, kept Starbies. It. I love Starbies there. Starbies, Starbies go. On the subject of endless summer, we do like to collect magnets from wherever we go on holiday. And we um got these from Universal. So these are the endless summer magnets that they had in the shop behind the uh, check-in desk. We thought they were quite nice. They're going up on the fridge. They were fifteen dollars, which is about standard for magnets at your hotels in Florida. So what's that like twelve pounds? I thought it was brilliant. Yeah, I thought they were great. They're quite weighty too, quite nice. So we're happy with them. So we're kind of jumping all over the place here, but everything's just out in front of us, so we're doing it bit by bit. Um, Everyone knows this bag, right? Bath and body. Wow, bags. everyone that's been to Florida. Like, I'm sure that we've got some people on watching these vlogs that have never even been to Orlando. So... Well, if you've been to America, Bath and Body Works is like... What is it like? It's a bit like the Body, body shop, shop. But... On acid. It does more candles. Like if, if, if Body Shop and Yankee Candle had a baby... Yeah, that's it. To be Bath and Body Works, right? Yeah. So, you and Matilda went in and got all of these little... So they do the sanitizers, and everybody that knows Bath and Body know that these sanitizers are like the mutts. The mutts. So this is lavender and vanilla. This smells lovely. We've got a champagne toast. We got two oh. of those because Matilda absolutely loved the smell. We were going to go back and get the, the candle, but we couldn't justify lugging candles back to the UK. No. Now Bath and Body Works are actually now in Next in the UK in a couple of the stores. So you can buy some of this stuff but not everything. There's only like a small selection. Is that the Eucalyptus one? Yeah. That smells lovely. Uh, I can't see. There you go. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Eucalyptus and Spearmint. The other one I showed was Flannel. Yeah. It's flannel. And how much are they? They were, they were five. Was it five for eight dollars or something no, like that? No, 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 no. It was like five for eighteen dollars. Oh. Because when I came out of the shop, I come to my senses and was like, "Why would you even spend eighteen dollars on hand sanitizer?" Hey, it's Bath and Body Most Works. People do it, don't they? Yeah. People like it. So we did have fun in there. We got to use all the hand scrubs and was washing our hands and smelling all the candles. It's yeah. it's a lovely shop, but yeah, they are bringing it into the UK and they are in some next stores. So if you've never been to America. And experience Bath and Body Works next. I've Get got. to next. Got Get to fix. next. So in Magic Kingdom, one of the gifts I got my parents, they've already seen this. It's not like a surprise. Why did they take this? They have. We bought two. We brought two. Shows how observant I am. I was messing around Blake, wasn't I taking pictures? Yeah. Um, I took some cool photos of him. Yeah, I did. So 
um, yeah, this is something that I had done when I was a kid. Um, did you have done this when you were a kid? No. Well, you didn't, did you? But I had these done when I was a kid with my sister, and my parents still have that. They also have a picture of my two nieces, so we've got Blake and Matilda done um, for them. So they've got a copy and we got a copy. But the weird thing is, Blake looks just like me when I was a kid, and I swear that could be Donna as well. Like, they're our little clones. They literally are little clones of us. So bizarre. But I thought they were really nice, and that was two of these frames for how much? 54. There's two of the artists under frames and the guy sat and cut in the front of us. He's so talented. He was so incredible, good. wasn't he? He was <laughs> grumpy. grumpy. He's one of the grumpiest cast members and I've known. But we've seen bad reviews of the, of the silhouette, so I'll go with the grumpy because he's probably the best one they've got. Yeah, he was an artist. Like He knew what he was doing. And he they did sign it. it and they date it and everything. Like It's really, really good. So I bought one for Val and Derek and one for us to keep because yeah. I thought... As a tradition, as DBC members now, we should get one each time we go with the kids. 100%. So at some point when we're 74 and the DBC experience is over, we should have probably about 10 of those. Yeah. Maybe a couple of us. Oh yeah, we should get them. Yeah, we should. So when we get up, why didn't we get one this time? I don't know. We should have done that. We should do that. Um, next. Chippendale. These are mini, mini cinnamon graham cookies. Anyone who likes like graham crackers and things, these are little mini cookies. Donna got some of these for her work friends, is that right? Yeah, I just thought they were really cute. They were like five dollars, I think, for each pack, but you get to keep the receptacle. It's my word. It's my word of the day, receptacle. And I thought they could put them on their desk. And then every time I walk to their desk, I'll be reminded of my fantastic holiday. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> it's always a method in my madness. Nice. What sort of cookies? Character cookies. They're I didn't realise you even brought these. Yeah, for Penny. So they're like three dollars uh, from my boss. Someone else at work, yeah. Very nice idea. I don't buy anything for my work friends because I don't really work in the office, I never see them, so He would have been sorry, buying them for the chest of drawers or the Yeah the desk. Hundred percent. So sorry guys if you're watching, you didn't really get much, but we didn't get anything. Just me. To commemorate our trip to Legoland. We got a cool magnet for five dollars. This was the first magnet we got. Then at the, at the checkout. Is it five dollars? Yes, it's five dollars. Oh, that's all right. And then at the checkout desk, Donna got up, upselled. The lady was like, "Oh, I need to." I need. She said, She's... "I need to." I haven't sold one of these today, and I need to sell them. I was like, "Oh, that one." So for five ninety nine, we got a Lego figure that goes as a magnet on your fridge too. Um, apparently you can swap and trade with other people who have Lego figures. We don't know anybody with Lego figures, but Donald was feeling really generous. Like, yeah, I'll take one. There you go. You've sold one today. So there we go. $11, $12 on two magnets before tax. I am a sucker for people that need to get their quotas. Yeah. So that was that magnet. Uh, talking of magnets, we also got this magnet yeah, baby. to commemorate our time <clears throat> at Animal Kingdom Lodge, and that was $13. That's a nice heavy magnet too, it's isn't lovely. it? It's beautiful. And I did get some cheeky discount on that. It's quite cool, isn't it? It is very cool. It's quite heavy. Um, but we thought we'd keep with our little tradition of buying magnets, and then as you saw in the vlog, first of all, so we got Look this Saratoga Springs magnet. This was a magnet that the cast member Sam sent up for us in our, in our little hamper. So we're and very appreciative of that. That was $13. It was $13 and we got it for a low, low price of nothing. Zero. So magic is what we got it for. We got it for it Mickey Magic. Mickey Magic. While we're on the subject of DVC souvenirs and magnets, we'll talk about pins. We got into pin trading a little bit this time, didn't we? Yes, we did. We got a bit obsessed. So we got these two very nice DVC pins. One to one that hops says Disney Vacation Club member. Actually, they both say Disney Vacation Club member. Just two different designs. One's the Tree of Life, I think, and the other one is just Mickey, looking all cool. And that was $25 for two pins. Don't judge us. Um, because we haven't got enough pins. Because they want the pins. We've got another one that says Disney Vacation Club member. We actually just really like the style of them. We like the three <laughs> stripes and stuff, so we just thought they were really cool. So we got these. And this was twelve ninety nine. Judges don't judge us. We don't care. Oh, we don't care. We don't anyway. We, we, we love it. Yeah. Mickey can take all our money. Mickey, Mickey Mouse. Take our money. We talked to so many people while we were away, didn't we? And they were mm -hmm. like, yeah, Mickey Mouse can have my money. Yeah. Because if he makes us feel like this, he can have what he wants. It's true. Take it all. 
And if you don't agree, comment down below, we don't care. Yeah, comment down below, tell us your opinion. Tell us how much we are terrible and we suck. Yeah. Do it. So as you'd seen in a previous vlog, we were gifted a lovely hamper by Sam, one of the cast members at the front desk, and she actually got us this beautiful Christmas decoration. We had intended on buying Christmas decorations, hadn't we? Yeah. For each resort, um, the sort of start a tradition, really. And she gifted us this, and it was twenty-seven dollars, I think. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness! I've just noticed something. What? This is this is this is great. What? <gasps> it lights up. <laughs> oh my days! That's <laughs> awesome. <gasps> it's a light up. Saratoga Springs, Mickey and Minnie decoration. And do you know why else I love this? Why? It reminds us of that evening. Oh. What, the one we danced with Goofy and unlocked all them cool memories? You ever seen the film Inside Out? That was a cool memory right there. Dancing eye to eye with Goofy. That was amazing. And Mickey and Minnie doing like Justin Bieber. Baby. baby that was lovely. Baby. Oh, so fun. So fun. Um, so there you go. <laughs> <laughs> I knew I'd cry. <coughs> um, Lighten the mood, Christmas tree ornament. Again, we went to Animal Kingdom. Does it light went up? Went to Johnny Village shop to get the Animal Kingdom Lodge one. This one does not light up. And we bought this one ourselves and it was $25. And it's Mickey and his little um, get him out. African style top. I didn't want to get him out. Well, oh, he's protective. Oh, okay. Yeah, I just thought he's fine enough. He's now. got a really cute tail as well. He does have a cute tail. Like he's just lush. So that's our other ornament from Animal Kingdom Lodge. Oh. Okay, so in. Disney, they have partnered up with a company called Stony Clover. You've probably seen Stony Clover's designs and not realised, but they're patches with letters. So you can get like wash bags with your name on. And they're really expensive, like some of them like 120 quid. Like really, really expensive designer, Stony Clover. Um, they did a collaboration with Disney and they brought out some bags and some bum bags. The bags were in the carrots warehouse for like 110 quid, but originally I think they were about 240 pounds. We didn't buy the bags. We didn't buy the bags, and I had no intention of buying the bags um, because they're literally generically coloured bags yeah. with three three patches on them. Yeah. Um, but what they did have in the carrots warehouse was some of the patches you could buy. Originally they were 20 pounds each, and I got them for 4.99 each. So one is, is it Gus Gus? It looks like Gus Gus. It is Gus Gus. One is the bird from Cinderella uh -huh. and the frog from Tiana. Now I'm pretty sure I could put these on eBay and make 20 quid on each of them. So I might put them on eBay or I might just make my own stony clover bag. I think you should make your own bag. I might make my own bag because you know, why not? You can do that. I'm good at that. Yeah, you are good at that. If um, you watch YouTube videos while I'm making bags, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> um, and I do like patches. I made a cap to take away with me. Um, I bought the cap, sorry, from Primark for £2.50 and bought a patch from eBay and I thought it looked quite decent. Yeah, it was good. Uh, so I then bought this, which is a pin, which is brilliant because we collect the pins, and then this patch and it's perfection clearly i'm perfection so that was uh 20 dollars reduced to 7.99 i think the biggest bargain oh we just saw... comment below after oh. this please we saw these on a vlog and for food and wine festival and thought, oh man these are great the coasters and they're like burger coasters, you've got your bun, you've got your cheese and your tomato, and each one's a coaster. We thought, oh, they're really cute and they're really nice. Look, and can we be frank? Epcot, you thought they were really Epcot cute. I've got food and wine. I thought, we've got to have them. They're awesome. They're awesome. And we realised that when we pay for them, they're $25. <laughs> we got a cheeky 20% discount. Yeah, we paid nineteen dollars for them. But Still, nineteen dollars for burger coasters is a bit weird. They're that's like really, seven, really our, sixteen our room. quid. They don't really go with our room in here. Who either. would buy coast? Th see, this is where M Mickey takes your money and you don't even realise it. We've paid sixteen pounds. I could have gone B and M and probably got about five packets of them. 
and they're burger pieces. They literally. But they say I've got food and wine on them. They do. See? Great purchase. So oh, they've got different patterns on yeah, them. Yeah, this is the lettuce. Maybe we could use that on a oh, piece of pastry. That's got spaceship earth on there. Love it. That one's got a Mickey on it too. The little tomato. tomato. Well, I think that's it actually. The that's a cheese. Got food and wine. So these are your coasters. So when you come round to our house, if ever you're here, you will be uh, You'll be served your tea on a, on a piece burger. of burger. And if not, for any reason, challenge us. Yes. Because you'll be like, why aren't you using them? And we'll be like, oh, well. Well, uh, don't know. Are we going to do what we've done with the knives and forks and keep them for our next house? Oh, we could do. That'd be cute. So for seven years, we've had in our cupboard a big, large cutlery set that we bought whilst in Disney World mm -hmm. in 2016. And we kept saying, we're not going to get it out yet. No, we're going to save for our new house. We're going to save it for our new house. Well, we still not moved seven years on. And we also have up in the loft a big dining set, dining... We've got plates, bowls, yep. which are all yep. fairy tale Disney themed, waiting for the next house. It's basically the bottom drawer in the loft. So these may become a bottom drawer purchase. It'd be silly not to. Comment down below if you've got a bottom drawer. Do you reckon people have bottom drawers these days? <laughs> <laughs> Is that like a really old fashioned thing? <laughs> yeah. What have you got a bottom drawer? Have you got a bottom drawer? <laughs> I bet you people have got one. Hundred percent. Comment below if you've got a bottom drawer. <coughs> you know somebody that has a bottom drawer. <laughs> Send us a picture of your bottom drawer. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Teapot Sunday. What's Teapot in your Sunday. bottom drawer? What's in your bottom drawer. Again, we didn't buy this. This was gifted to us from Sam um, at the front desk. But this is the Happy Halloween tin. It's very very nice. It's beautiful. It is lovely. All the different characters and their little Halloween get ups and little ghosts and everything on the side. Um, this thing originally cost a lot of money, didn't it, I think? It was $35. $35, and it comes with four pieces of Halloween bark in there. So this has got little, like, hundreds of thousands, candy corn pieces, pretzel pieces. Apparently the chocolate is very fudgy instead of chocolatey. It's quite thick as well, it's like, really it's proper thick. thick. It actually smells really good, you can smell it through your packet. Yeah, it does smell good. Oh, yeah, oh my goodness. That's doesn't good. that? Oh, it smells like... I know. It smells like the confectionery. It, it smells like Main Street. Oh. Oh, that's lovely. So we're going to have them with a cup of tea at some point. Um, and probably cry for a little bit. Let's rush through some low ticket items that you've probably already seen before on the, yes, on they the did. vlog. Um, one was Matilda's notebook that she was wanted a notebook. But somebody's got math square paper in there. She wanted some math square paper. Little Donald's, little Donald things on there. She wanted it, it's $7.99. But can we just Character say, warehouse, by the way. this this was originally $20. Like, I'm telling you, Mickey takes your money, because I bet you loads of people went in there and thought, oh, look, yeah, I'll buy that, and didn't even look at the price. Yep. It does have stickers in there as well, but I think we showed those on the previous vlog, so you, you, you've seen those. Matilda got a little spirit jersey for her Numo toy, <laughs> which is Stitch. Toy. She bought a spirit jersey for him. It's wicked. He hasn't He's worn the spirit jersey yet. No, he yet. hasn't. But she bought it and it was $1.25, wasn't it? Yeah, it was well cute. Yeah, that's cute. We got this for Blakey, Character Warehouse. Again, all the power was 30% off, so it was $9.99 with 30% off. He likes Star Wars, so we got him this. The same with this one, it was $12.99 with 30% off. Seven foot frame. Wrapped so long is back when you got your name. Something, something, yeah. something. That one. We um, don't. The no, 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 no. Next. I bet you're glad you came on this trip with us and mm -hmm. that you've you uh, really got to know this. us and you've stayed for the the haul video. Now, this. in the, when we bought this, mm -hmm. Amelia hadn't been born. Amelia has now been born. She's safe. She's beautiful. She's now three weeks old. And we, at some point this week, are going to meet her, and we're so excited. Yeah, by the time we see this vlog, we'll but be looking at Megan her. will have had but, um, this for her. Yeah, nine ninety nine, thirty percent off. Very, very cute for little baby media. We have finally got Epcot International Food and Wine plates. Little area for your food. Little area for your little drinky drink, and you can have be at your barbecues like I'm the coolest person here, like I'm at food With and wine. With my wine glass stuck in there. We've always wanted these. We were going to get some in 2016, but we didn't pick them up. And then Donna's auntie and uncle. Rub it in our face that we never got them. And they now get them out at every opportunity. Them. They do to show. Now we've got some. So when they come over at the weekend, they're coming over at the weekend, and I am going to, to like 
oh. give them something to eat, like a cake or something on this. Maybe I'll give them Damn some right. chocolate bark. Oh, God, yeah. One ninety nine each. One ninety nine, twenty twenty two. The reason we didn't get twenty twenty threes is they're made of wood and they didn't look. They didn't look as good. They didn't look as good. They didn't even have like the in the inlet, so you no, could actually put it was your more food like on. a cheese board, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah. So these were better. So we went for these and we liked them. We loved them. We did well. Um, we got this little pack for Blake. I thought it was a squishy. It wasn't a squishy. It was actually a cuddly toy. Um, it was marble. You get like one of seven figures, and I think that. He was quite happy that he got the Spider-Man Mars Morales. He likes Spider-Man. I can't remember how much it was, maybe $7.99 or something for a little toy. We got this also for little baby media. It's a new mode, just like Matilda's little stitch that wears the spirit jersey. In theory, this one could wear the spirit jersey. It's a little bell. It cost $21.99. I don't think it cost that, did it, in the shop? No, I think it was like $6. Yeah, so she's very cute, but little media. And I thought it would look nice in her um, cot because you can actually manipulate the body parts yeah so she could sit quite nicely and she's really soft as well and i thought she was a cute little doll for her indeed next matilda got another something that Lovely. she's forgotten about i think already yeah um this is a aristocats marie candle it is it does what candles do flickering effect $19.99 and originally they were thirty nine ninety nine. So she can have this in her room when she remembers that she got it. Um, I got myself a Spider-Man hat. I've been seeing this on Shop Disney for like ages and it's always been like $30. And in the character warehouse this time, I think it was $7.99. So it's Spider-Man, it comes with two little pins, a little Spider-Man pin and a Hobgoblin pin. Um, I just thought it was really funky, so I thought I'd buy it because if I don't, I'll never see it again. So there you go, I'll wear it one day to the parks. I quite like it and it's, it's cool. nice. Yeah, quite snazzy 80s kind of colour, so yeah. It would work at Universal too. It would work at Universal. So originally Matilda wasn't gonna get a full full on lounge fly because I was like, they're really expensive. Where are you gonna wear it? Like I don't think we should get one. I said, why don't we see if there's one at the character warehouse you could have? They're cheaper, forty dollars. So she came away with this one. Matilda got this Zootopia Tropolis bag. <laughs> <laughs> that she didn't really want to get. It's got like take it easy on there, like Flash's hand. It's got. I mean, this it's beautiful lounge fly. Thing with no, Judy no, no. Hop. We bought that. We brought the little bauble thing and Judy hops to go with it to just jazz it up a bit because it wasn't jazzy enough. <laughs> <laughs> There's Flash on there. There's Nick Wilde. He's a swipe fox. You know, it's a cool. It's a cool lounge fly with extra accessories now. And in again, here, that was like 80 quid to begin with when I got it for 40. Yeah, the pattern's quite nice in there. So you've got the characters like all in like a kind of sketchy style. So yeah, it was quite nice. Well, I liked it. I'm glad she got it to be fair because she wasn't going to get it. It's quite cheap and it's for a that really, bag. And it's a really big it's bigger lounge than, bigger than most of the lounge yeah. prices, isn't it? So In comparison, nice. it's really nice. Yeah. If she don't use it, I will. Yeah, very nice. Very nice. Very nice. And the next lounge fly, Which Don's you will have Pride already Enjoy. seen. You would have already seen it, but it's Don's Pride and Joy. I love it. Little Pinocchio, he has a tail, he has ears. Jimmy Cricket on the back. Originally, very, this lounge nice. fly was $98. Wow. And I got him for $40. There's lining on the inside, so it's kind of like all the kind of painted art. So you've got Stromboli in there, the Blue Fairy. You've got Mrs. It reminds Petto. me of the Disney books you used to get, like yeah. the artwork from the Disney little books you used to get. It's really cute. It's very cute. It's the last one on the shelf. And Donna would have kicked herself if she didn't get it. The lady told me, she said, if you don't take this now, she said someone else is going to snap up and we've got no others. So you got it. And I got it. And I'm so glad I did. There was an Alice in Wonderland one that I should have got. Yeah, there's one with um, the cat on the front. Yeah, yeah, wicked. It was very cool. Character Warehouse, another thing we got was this for Blake. Got Thanos, he talks. He does stuff. He's got a helmet upstairs somewhere. He's very heavy as well. It's so... a really, really heavy toy, but Blake likes evil characters. He's got Thanos. You might have seen on the vlog, we got like a bag full of, or a box full of Buzz Lightyear toys, or like $14 for all the little Buzz Lightyear toys. He's also got a giant Zerg, you can see his foot here. Almost the same size as Thanos, and he was like $30, I think. Um, so we got, we got all of those for him. We also got a little collection of these Star Wars toys. We've got two boxes of, the, of these, and they're little like static diorama play sets, and there's like Ten in each box. He loves them. And he loves them. So he's got like all the Jedi's and the Sith and 
everything. We got them from World of Disney, so we got a bit of 20% discount with them. I think originally they were like thirty dollars a bag, yeah. a box. Because oh. I said he could have two boxes because we told him about the stitch. spirit jersey and the spirit, yeah, and the stitch. She's done well. So Blake was really happy with them, and he played with them in Animal Kingdom Lodge. He's had them all out, and he was lining them all up. It's a lovely memory, time. actually. Yeah. From that Mitsukoshi store in Japan, World, World Showcase, Matilda got a group of 3D erasers. She did. They were $4. I thought that was a bargain. She'd be happy with them at secondary school, which she likes what she does. Yeah, she loves it. Um, from Walgreens, we got this for Matilda when she gets a key cut. She's going to get a key cut because she's going to secondary school. And it's just a little stitch head that goes on the end of the key, so you know which key's yours. And yeah, I thought it was a really good idea. It was a lovely idea. And that was like three ninety nine. Yeah, all greens. Also from our world of Disney, we didn't know what to get our nieces um, because there is so much choice. Um, and in the end, I found the perfect presents for them. So for Paige, she wears gold. So we got her a P with a little Diamante Mickey. Leah wears silver. So we got her the same, but with... But made from silver. Yeah, made from silver. Oh. And then for Brooke, exactly the same with a B on it. And we got an E for Emmy, which is exactly the same with a little Mickey. Don Monte Mickey. And then I treated myself. I saw loads of things that I would have bought. Mm -hmm. I saw a beautiful ring that I wish I'd bought. It's true, she did. Um, but no, I bought this. So it's just a white, uh, a rose gold. Um, pair of Mickey ears. They're very cute. There was loads of earrings I could have bought, but none of them go. My ears get really itchy if I wear certain types of metal, so I opted for a necklace. Smart move. And I also bought some mystery pins for my brother's girlfriend Marina. Um, she asked me to buy them because um, she had seen them around on TikTok or Instagram. I'm not sure. The ones she wanted were the ice cream ones that were ice cream shaped, but they were characters. Um, they have discontinued them. Yeah, they we have managed to get her two through pin trading. Um, so Matilda's gonna give her those. Mm -hmm. But we bought her these, these were $40. Um, and they are like cups. Like coffee cups. Receptacles. Coffee receptacles. It's the theme of the trip. The theme. the theme of the receptacle trip. So in this one, there is four pins, I believe. Five. Was it five? Mm. Oh, she's done really well then. So five pins, and there's some really cool characters on them. I think she'll like them, and I think they're better than the ice cream. Mm -hmm. There you go. So she can open those, mm. and maybe we will get her to open them on camera so everybody can see what was in our mystery pin set. We're ready. So, just about to open Mommy. the first pack of my very own pins that my lovely family Ooh, brought me back. She's we've excited. We've got Starbucks cups and we've just gone through to see what we could get. And now we're going to open them. Oh, what's she going to get? Okay, I've got to try and get this open first. Might have to get some scissors, might not. Yeah. We're ready, let's roll. Take two. We got scissors, we're going to have to open them. Oh my God, I'm so excited. <laughs> Right, oh, we got. they're in a little bag. They are, yeah. Oh, I love that. Snip them out. You can't tell what you get before you actually oh. get one out. Oh. Okay, the first one. What is it? Oh, we got Tinker Bell! No way! Oh, I love that. Oh, that's lush. That's yeah, we like that. Oh, sorry. That's all right. Oh, they're quite big, aren't they? Yeah, they, they are, they're, they're nice. Little. Oh, Tink. Number two. Number two. You shouldn't get dupes. <gasps> we got Pinocchio. Oh, oh nice. nice. Yeah. We've got Nanny some good Silla's gonna be loving that. Nanny Silla's gonna be loving that. Oh, do you want to show that? Yeah, yeah I love that. Oh, oh wow, that's perfect. Good for that one. Ooh, They're really nice, aren't they? We've got a good one so far. Yeah, you have. Next one. And you got Gemma. Oh, five in there. Oh. Uncle Mark's turn. Which one's that one? Uncle Mark's turn. Bambi. 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 Uncle Mark, mm. open it. Like that one. Yeah. There's never a fan of Bambi. That one is oh Donald. <gasps> Love Donald! it. Oh, that's great. nice. Donald. You got Donald. Donald. Yeah, oh, that's that's that. That. Donald. Yeah, they're really well good. Donald. Okay. No, don't worry. Donald. They're well cool. Donald. 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 They're well good, aren't they? They're really Number good. One. We got good ones. Number one, mate. 
Donald Duck. Uh, I really want this to be the Little Mermaid. <laughs> Keep it Little Mermaid. Or Moana. No, it's got to be Dalmatian. I want it to be Figment. You want it? I want it to you want it to be what? Figment. Blake loves Figment, oh, no, don't you, buddy? I, I thought it was from an F. I wanted a big boss. The Cheshire Cat. Oh, oh, that's a good one. Cheshire Cat. One, yeah. We like Cheshire Cat. Yeah, it is a good one. They are big, aren't they? They're so cool. Mm. Look, oh, love that. And when we go, look, when we go again, and Auntie Marina comes, oh, she's got her own. She's got her own. She's got her own starter kit for pin trading. They are so cool. Although these are my first ever pins, and I don't ever want to trade them. No. Uh, Although Paige has happened, but you haven't. Banana, done banana, banana. I love Bambi. Bambi. You can have Bambi. Banana, banana. <laughs> Surely you can get the doubles, though. Banana, banana. Hey. There is a chance you can get. There the is a chance you get the doubles, but. Hopefully you won't. That's a good pack. I think we did well there. That's a great pack. I like them. Really good pack. I love them. I'm just going to wear them on my jumper. <laughs> Do it. I'm just going to wear them out. <laughs> nice. Then I think one of the last vlogs that you will have seen is our last day, so travel home day, and we went to Five and Below and the Dollar Tree. So I have been looking for a planner, 2023-24 planner for myself um, for work because I work in education so we run from september to july so it's always better to have a 23 24 planner um, i also got one of my friends the same planner because she's planning her wedding and the planners in america just seem to be better they're, they're bigger it's true that they just seem better so this was five dollars and it literally is a planner nothing special i went to the dollar tree and i saw these and my cousin diana she absolutely loves autumn and she's got loads and loads of autumnal autumnal stuff in her kitchen so i bought her the these hanging ornaments which i think are blinking lovely she's gonna love them um one says gather and one says give thanks and they'll go perfectly in her kitchen then i bought my mum an autumnal she uses these mats on her sink on her drainer she's really she particular does, yeah. about how clean everything is and she she uses these so and it goes in the wash dish draining mat and i bought her and myself um an oven glove and a nice little what do you call these i don't know what it is heat pads so you put your saucepans on it when they come off oh, the stove and they say hello fall on them I think we've exhausted this. Um, we do have one more thing. While um, some of us were out meeting celebrities, Donald's in a beauty pop boutique. I still feel I got the better end of the deal because I was meeting celebrities. We saw Cinderella, Jasmine, Aurora. But did you see Tim Tracker? Snow White. Snow White. Did you see Tim Tracker? No, I didn't see the Tim Tracker. Mm -hmm. For the ninety dollars, they get their hair and makeup and the whole experience in the castle. Um, with the fairy godmothers, which you've probably seen already. They get a drawstring bag, and in the drawstring bag, they get a t-shirt. I've still got Matilda's other t-shirt and other bag. It says best day ever, and these are like Diamante crystals. And it says the Bibbity Bobbity Boutique. The sash which is really pretty and they actually make the ribbon there and then for you cool. because they measure your torso and then they make the the bow which i thought was brilliant nice. they never did that last time and it no, kept it falling off yeah so that was perfect and then because the lady knew that matilda was a ballet dancer she gave me extra um sponges they get makeup and you get your hair brushes and your combs, which is perfect because I'm always up for a comb and for Matilda's ballet. Yeah, the ballet, they really help, don't they? Yeah, so she <clears throat> gave us those. Yeah, yeah. And this is the um, nail varnish they use. And Matilda has reminded me that this has got Tinkerbell pixie dust in it. Oh, is that what it's, it's in it? It's oh. made from, from pixie dust. It's Very made, good. Oh. It's made from pixie dust. That's very cute. I know. And then we got gifted our, the last thing we, we got was this, which is a Disney Vacation Club member medallion, which you should be able to there see, yeah. yeah. These are only for DVC members and they've started tracking people. Yeah, so when you go to the little DVC Desk. kiosk booth and little desks, 
You have to give your details so they can see whether or not you've had one or not, and they'll give you one. Because what happened with the sliders, they were all getting put on eBay for 25 quid. Yeah. And people were making a lot of money from it, and then other people weren't getting it. So now they've come up with, we're going to register these, so if you've got one, it's on the system. You can't get them from any for anyone else either. So these are specifically if you're in the park at the time. Yeah. And we got ours. Woo. So we hope you enjoyed this haul video. There's a lot of stuff to go through. Yeah. I'm reminded of how much money we spent. We saved up the money and we knew how much money we needed to go with. So it's like when people go to Vegas and like I'm gonna spend yeah. five grand on gambling. You know those people? That's us in Florida. That's got us in Florida. So all in all, we had a great time. We bought some lovely things to remind us of our trip. Mm. And we'll be able to go into our cupboard, pull out a cup and we'll be reminded of our trip. You know, we'll be able to go into the bathroom because I brought home lots and lots of... Amenities. Um, is that what you call them? Yeah, I think so. Amenities. Products. Yeah, products. Um, which we won't show you, but... You can just imagine. You can just imagine that I brought back probably about five hand creams, 12 soaps, and in the vlog you saw that I decanted the shampoo. She was pumping away. I Wish like, I'd done, to be honest, I should have done it every day. Should have done. Because by the time the three weeks were up that we were in Disney, I probably would have had about four of those. Yeah, you would have done easy. And those, the shampoo and conditioner in Disney is lovely. It made mine and Matilda's really hair nice. silky. Even the, um, the body wash was so nice. That yeah. sea salt one was lovely. Yeah. So take an empty container and um, fill your boots. <laughs> Fill your containers. Fill your containers. Your receptacles. Fill your receptacles. <laughs> Comment below if you've got a bottom drawer. <laughs> or if you like going to the Dollar Tree or the Five and Below. Or if you like a receptacle. <laughs> <Let's Yeah. know. laughs> or you collect receptacles. Right, we're going. See you Bye. on the next one. Bye.